shortage of storylines in this first round each. I'll start, I guess, with the Columbus Blue Jackets. They've got a few picks in the first round. And are we on Seth Jones' watch at this point? Could he be on the move in the next hmm. few hours? Well, I'm not sure if it'll be in the next few hours, but I would imagine that it'll be sometime in the next uh, several days, maybe a couple of weeks. I mean, it's a big deal for the Columbus Blue Jackets to make. Now, if draft picks are tied to a deal to move Seth Jones, well, then could happen in the next few hours, just like you point out. If they are not and it involves players and prospects, well, then it could go on for a while and we'll yeah. have to wait and see. But I do anticipate that uh, Yarko, Yarmo Kekalainen will move Seth Jones because Seth Jones has indicated that he's going to test the market and most likely leave Columbus. So you can hold on to him for another year or wait to the trade deadline. I don't think you get near as much value as you get now moving him because uh, there's all kinds of suitors out there. We have this board up here right now, not because these are the same player, but because of the return that was gotten for Rasmus Ristolainen. What does that mean Seth Jones could get back for Columbus, Johnny? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Yarmo Kekalainen is looking at us saying thank you very much, uh, Philadelphia and Buffalo, because the market for Seth Jones became even greater. If Rasmus Ristolainen is worth a player, a first, and another pick, Seth Jones is worth that plus plus. A better <laughs> player, a first round pick, maybe another first round pick because he's a better player than Rasmus Ristolainen. That, and, that, and Rasmus Ristolainen would have to admit that as well. So that's why I'm looking at, Jackie, you think about LA's picking, what, 8th, Chicago picking 12th. Uh, those teams are interested for Seth Jones. And, and if you're going to attach first round picks to that trade, that does have to happen tonight, yeah. very likely. Uh, those are cities where Seth Jones is kind of curious to go and, and, and would probably sign an extension there. So I'm going to watch those teams because those teams both might be in the mix. And if it's not Seth Jones, maybe trading that first round pick for a player that can help them now, not yeah. a player that might help them two or three years from now. So I think there could be some activity around those picks as well. Yeah. And you know, I would say one thing, too, is that every team is in a different circumstance. Philadelphia was in a different circumstance, certainly, than Columbus is. And Philadelphia was trying to get in on Seth Jones. But they couldn't get Seth Jones to come in and sign a deal. They're willing to do something different with Ristolainen. But at the end of the day, uh, they were looking for that big, long, mm -hmm. right-shot defenseman. We'll see how it all plays out. But I agree with Johnny. Seth Jones, would, uh, you would think, would bring quite a return oh, yeah. because of what he can do. All right, well, as I said, no shortage of storylines heading into the first round of tonight's NHL draft.